So let's do it the other way, just to finish, just to round this out. Let's say I think of it from the checking account side. And if I got, if I got money on the checking account, this, let's do the 20,000. I would think of it as a deposit. So if I go in here and I say, instead of recording a transfer, I'm going to categorize it because it's an increase. That means QuickBooks, you would think would categorize it as a deposit form. And so I'm going to say it's a deposit. And then the other side is going to go to PayPal, 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 PayPal. So there. And so it should do the same thing, but now it's going to use a deposit form. So we're going to say, which will look right on the checking account, but not on the PayPal side. So let's save it and add it. And then I'm going to go to the pay, to the checking account and it found the match. So I'm going to say, okay, go ahead and match it up. That won't record anything new because I recorded it on the checking account side. It'll just verify PayPal has been finalized. Now, if I go into the checking account, let's run it again running it checking account then i should have that 20 there it is right there and it looks right because it's a deposit so that looks good although it's the same as every other deposit right but there's a deposit and then but then if i go to the paypal account which is like another checking account i'm gonna have a deposit that's decreasing it which is weird that's not how it should go why won't it go in there there it goes all right so there it is, there it is but it's a deposit form that's decreasing so that messes up this account because if i'm trying to sort my cash over here by increases i'm going to use deposits and this deposit decreased it so that's the point